What's up, Prismverse Warriors? So it's been 24 hours, and guess what? Our Mayfly team score is still a solid 30. Yeah, no, it's not because we're lazy, it's because we're outnumbered. I mean, come on, it's like 100 versus 10. But hey, who cares about numbers? We're still out here trying to outsmart them. Things have been absolutely wild on our second day here in the Prismverse, so let's dive into the mayhem, right after the intro, of course. Quick backstory time. Our Hive is in a different faction than our warband Once Walkers. Here's what went down. We were supposed to land in server P Clash X0003, but we already registered there and guess what? Warband leaders pulled a fast one on us with a new plan. They wanted to make sure everyone could get into the server. They figured some folks might not make it into 0003, so they switched to 0005. My friends were worried the server might end up being as empty as a ghost town. So Zeshem, being the troll we all know and love, tells some rival warbands were heading to 0005. Surprise, surprise, they didn't take him seriously. We were waiting to see if Universe, Godlike, and Zeta would also join 0005, but nope, they picked different servers. So, after some deliberation, our Hive decided to roll with a different faction from our warband. Not to prove a point or cause drama, we just wanted to keep the server alive with some real PvP action. Imagine, 24 hours in and Mayfly's score is still 30. Yikes. Now, onto the real madness. Since we're outnumbered, I had to pull out my trusty jaws from Eternal Land. Yeah, it cost a ton of points, but it's cool. I already transferred all my materials to my alt before moving here to Prismverse. And for those asking, but how will you repair that weapon? Easy peasy, I'll just head back to Eternal Land and use an all-purpose hand. Don't ask me what that is, it's just a hand that fixes stuff. So the goal right now is to hit level 40, so I can finally wield this glorious weapon and flex on some unsuspecting players who didn't prepare like I did. They'll be stuck waiting two to three more days to craft their tier five weapons. All right, pro tip, how do we level up fast? You gotta run Rabazex or Hound. It'll give you a sweet 5K XP per run and you can solo it in under three minutes if you've got decent gear. Just slap on some tier three armor and weapon, calibrate them, and you're golden. And hey, if you've got a stockpile of materials, craft some electric stoves and farm salt water. Yep, salt. Crafting 99 salt will give you 198 EXP. Who knew salt was the secret to leveling up? Now I'm level 40. I can finally wield my tier five jaws with perfect calibration, fire rate, and crit stats. Time to grab some armor. I pulled out some H30s with high ratings from my alt and set up base in Blackfell oil fields. This place is a gold mine for iridium crystal and metallic fiber. Exactly what we need to craft tier four armor. If you've still got points in Eternal Land, grab this deviation from there. All right, time to gear up. I'm crafting top and bottom gear with five stars and huge HP boosts. Now that I'm all suited up, it's time to test this bad boy out. Let's find some enemies purifying prism deviation. To track them down, Open your map and click the prism energy icon. If a red aura stays put, someone's probably purifying there. If it's moving, well, somebody's on the run with it. Now, to the action. I'm raiding a base, and guess who's there? Pork Seelog, an old buddy from my previous warband. Sorry, Porky, it's nothing personal, but today we're on opposite sides. Our hive leader, Napal and Appetizer joined the brawl, and things got spicy. Suddenly, folks from different factions show up, and those nutcrackers, man, they pack a punch. We managed to break into their base, but then we heard that they were purifying underwater. Uh, what? We can't shoot or grenade them down there, devs. Please fix this. Rosetta, come on, we're already outnumbered. Play fair. After the raid, we stumbled upon another base. And guess what? It was another Mayfly. Turns out, the Red Aura isn't always an enemy. It just means someone's holding or purifying a prism deviation. So we ended up helping him defend until he finished purifying. Plot twist. Then we got into a chase. Some guy carrying a prism deviation tried to hide at the edge of a cliff. I played it cool, pretended I didn't see him, then snuck up and bam, got him. We took the deviant to appetizer's territory to purify, and it was awesome to see more mayflies joining in to help us. We even called out Rosetta to raid us, but they chickened out, so we raided another base instead. And guess what? Another mayfly, again. This poor guy had no idea what he was doing. His base had no walls protecting the Deviant. After a while, some Rosettas showed up. 
and we took them down. But more kept coming. My gear broke, I ran out of activators, and it got chaotic. I held the line as long as I could, but in the end, reinforcements arrived too late. Oh well, at least Appetizer's purification was successful. Hey, I'm broke. Hey. Hey, I'm broke. Hey, I'm broke. Hey. Finally, after a long day, we went from 30 to 70 points. Meanwhile, Rosetta's sitting at 640. So close, right? But it's all good. We knew from the start we couldn't win. We're here for the thrill, excitement, and chaos. Though, let's be real, it'd be way more fun if the server were more balanced. Imagine 100 Mayflies versus 100 Rosettas, and no more purifying underwater. But hey, it's only day two of the Prismverse. I'm sure the devs will tweak things eventually. Maybe not this season, but in the future. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching. And as always, happy grinding. <laughs>